Welcome to Weld.com. We've been running some series of hard facing on stick, wire. I believe we did one with the eutectic torch at one point in time. Ran some interesting product over here, <clears throat> but I'm, I want to stay away from this. And I want to run a Blue Demon product called uh, 55 FCO gasless hard surfacing wire. It'll run on either polarity, DCEP or DCEN. And I haven't run this, so I'm kind of learning and experimenting. So um, volt range, uh, 80 to 120, something like that on 035 wire. What's interesting is this wire chemistry. We've got a little carbon. We've got 1% of manganese, silicone, 5.8% chrome, 1.5% uh, molybdenum, 1.4% tungsten, and the balance is iron. So this ought to be kind of interesting. This part um, was a rejected part. One of my students came in and did some wear surfacing on this. This one was cracked quite a bit. He wasn't gonna put it back in the ground. I am gonna go get some of his others when we perfect some of these runs. Uh, we've already perfected this one down here. We'll get some usable parts and we'll do some uh, wear surfacing on them. But this one, I wanna come along this edge over here uh, I'm probably going to blow this out when I get close to this because this is thin and angled. It also has another overlay on it and I don't know what it is. But I want to just, I'm going to come in here and I want to run a bead down here. Uh, do something for the cameraman, but I want to run the big V thing in here just to kind of see how things are going to lay down. What the wire characteristics look like. So let me get my hood on. I'll be right back. Got a lot of heavy pop going on here. A lot of heavy spatter. I noticed a lot of heavy spatter during this run, and I also noticed that if I was straight up over the top of it and even a slight push, it looks like I had some holes opening up. I'm not real alarmed. If I was putting something in the ground, again, this is hard surfacing wire. I'm not trying to make anything super pretty. It's unnerving to have the heavy pop, okay, and the spatter, and the spatter is hard spatter. I'm not getting it off there. I'm, you know, I want to get with the manufacturer and learn maybe I'm doing something wrong. I did a value change. I think I started out about 26 volts and about 280 on the wire, and I turned it up to 27.2, 320. Also, it looked like on my last run down here on the very outside, you know, I started in here and I did these big Vs. That, that heat is transferring to the outside of this part. Um, it looked like it laid down a little bit better. I increased my electrical stick out and I increased my gun angle and drug this one in here and it looked like it ran pretty good. Um, it's got a fairly, I don't want to say a dense slag, but it's got an aggressive slag on it that stays pretty good. I don't want to mess around and quench that. You know, again, if I was putting it in the ground, I don't care what it looks like per se, other than I want good blending qualities into the into the parent metal so 
uh, I see some definite advantages. I, you know, if I was doing a bunch of patterns and doing some buildup with wire, and I didn't want the expense of the gas, or I was doing something out fairly portable, man, I'd grab this stuff and go to town with it. So, uh, again, I want to follow up. I'm, it's interesting to me to, the wire chemistry in itself. You know, chrome, manganese, tungsten, molybdenum, gee whiz, that's some goodies in there with them in the presence of carbon. So, you know, this going to get hard. Uh, some other tests that we could do. I could do a. Uh, a hardness test. I could take it over to the machine shop and have them do a hardness test on a sample one of these days and get some values off of it. I'm sure it's already been done, but interesting product. Uh, I learned I learned a little bit here. I, I just need to learn where to set the machine, or if it's always going to run like that, that's fine. Again, it's a gasless, hard surfacing wire. So uh, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you very much. Well, I dropped the mic wire in the shoe. I wiped it off for you, though.